We're at 955 Steel Springs Road. Okay. I'll show you the driveway. So it is paved going down to the garage, but then so you can see where Susanna's driving. It has a gravel U-shaped driveway. I'm gonna go inside and then we'll focus on uh, the backyard. So here's the front porch. Walking in. Two story entry. Look straight into the living room. Off to the left is going to be formal dining. Laundry. Upstairs half bath. There's another half bath down in the basement, which is basically like the bonus room area. Kitchen. Um, I was telling Susanna we could probably negotiate for this to stay just because it does fit the space really well. Okay. Deck. This deck is massive. We locked ourselves out last time, so just being careful. So this part over here is relatively flat, um, and then over here is flat, and then same with the front and side yard. And the property line starts like basically right on the other side of the house on this side, and then it goes back and all the way out. But the next door neighbors are on 60 acres, so. It's uh, even outside of the two acres. It's really quiet. I'm gonna walk you down to the lower deck just because it was hard to get. Um, okay, actually. Oh, yeah, we'll walk around. Patio under the deck. There's the basement access. Hi, kitty. Nope, you're not going out. Pantry. Here's the door to the basement. Coat closet. Primary bedroom. Sorry if I'm breathing hard. That kind of took the breath out of me. Primary bath. The shower tub combo. Dual closets. Toilet. Basement first, featuring a cute little kitty. Okay. 
Okay, so this is a storage unit that would go, so I'll open up some space. Okay. Right. Funky little half bath, but at least it's a half bath for if you want to hang out in the bathroom or hang out in the basement. Definitely don't want to hang out in the bathroom. That sounds a little funky. Okay, to the garage. There is like a little niche over here too. And it does have direct access to the outside. So there's your breaker box, water heater. Yeah, that goes in probably about five feet. And then it's probably about 10 feet in length, just in that little niche, which is great. This part's super cool though, because with how big it is, you could do half of it as a home gym. Like this half could easily be a home gym. And then this half could be storage. And these are anchored into the wall, so this storage unit would stay. Super cool space, though. And I guess it has storage units over here, too. But you could always pull them out if you wanted to use it as a gym. Stairs. Oh, let me not close that because I don't want to walk any cats anywhere. Okay, upstairs. So this is listed as a three bedroom. Um, it does technically have four, but when you're on a septic tank, you can only list however many bedrooms the septic tank perked for. So it's probably perked for a three bed. So at the top of the landing, bedroom, bedroom, bathroom, bedroom. I'm definitely winded now. This bath. Guest room currently being used as an office. Okay. And then final guest room. This is a queen size bed too, so you can get a reference for the size. It's actually a pretty deep closet, it's about seven feet in hanging space. Cool. Alright. Here's the foyer from upstairs. Walk you out to the driveway. that gravel drive. Yep, that's it.